Hey guys, Ranger Liz here. I, uh, this is the third time I've tried to start recording it. Every, the other two times I just end up getting angry and I'm just want to yell at people, um, to go F themselves. And I, uh, you know what? I'm not going to let them do that to me. So here we are. We're going to talk about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, this team. We're going to talk about the comics. We're going to talk about Beyond the Grid. And yeah. Things might get snuck in a little bit. <sighs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, as of issue 31, will be going beyond the grid and will be getting a new creative team. Uh, Marguerite Bennett and Simone DeMeo will be taking over the series, and says thanks to Comic Book Now, I'm sorry, ComicBook.com for all of this information. They got to have uh, an awesome conversation with them. As far as the artist is concerned, I'm looking at his work, it looks awesome. Definitely no complaints or worries there. The big thing we got though, however, other than a new creative team, was that this team going forward and beyond the grid is not going to be your standard Mighty Morphin team. In fact, none of them are really on Mighty Morphin. The closest you could say we get is Ranger Slayer. So that's a thing. And she is in the middle, which makes me think that she's probably going to be the leader, which is cool because she, in the, the gen and just the, the fact. But, but, you know, any time a girl could potentially be a leader, the maggots come crawling out of the sewers. But that's okay, because we're not one of those closed-minded idiots, are we? Nah. Here at Ranger Liz, we're all about being inclusive and liking everyone and respecting others' opinions. Of course, if your opinion is being a hobophobe, then, then no, but... <sighs> See, this is why I've had a few issues trying to start doing this. People have issues with a new writer, and they can just eat it. That's, maybe that's all I will say about that. There's not going to be a big reset button after Shatter Grid ends. They're just going to, like, Shatter Grid ends, and then they're like, hey, there's this team, and they are going to keep going. And it's going to pertain, like, their mission, everything is just building off of Shattered Grid, which I think is great. You're going to have so many people raptured by what's going on in Shattered Grid. Keep it going. Give us more. I am ridiculously excited to see what a team consisting of the people that you're probably seeing, because I'm going to have links below to all of this, Magna Defender, Tanya Zeo Yellow, Cam, which was Ninja Storm Green, Andros in Space Red, Ranger Slayer, who's Kimberly, though. I mean, I guess maybe she's not. I mean, she's probably going to be Kimberly. And Dark Ranger. Full admittance, Dark Ranger is a really lame name, but the name can be really dumb, and the character can still be awesome. So we'll go from that. Uh, this is a mysterious Dino Charge themed Ranger. Uh, my bets are actually that it's probably going to be Matt. Uh, we did get a preview for Mighty Morphin 28, I believe it's coming out in just a few days, and Ranger Slayer is going to be able to, like, she knows Matt. It's, this is going to be a very interesting time, and I'm really, really excited to see where this is going to go. Um, they're going to be chasing down a giant, you know, an elect baddie. We don't really know much about the story that it's going to be coming, but it's, uh, it's beyond epic. It's beyond the grid. These The writers, everyone, they're so excited about where this is going. I'm excited. I'm ridiculously excited. I'm excited for the new story. I'm excited to see new rangers. I'm excited for new artwork. Although, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I, I love the art that we already have, but it's just it's a breath of fresh air bringing something in, and I'm okay with that. I'm sad to see... Kyle and the team go. Don't get me wrong. If I could, I'd just tie them to Boom Studios and make them write Power Ranger comics the rest of their lives. I mean, I would be okay with that, but they probably wouldn't. So they're moving on, and the, as Ranger fans, we're also moving on. Just like every series in Power Rangers, you get a new team. Okay, this is maybe not the best example, because now they stay for two years, but you know what I mean? Every new series, you get a new team. You get a fresh cast, you get a fresh perspective, you get a fresh story. And I'm excited for that. It's like at the end of a Power Ranger season, you're sad it's ending. Or Sentai or Kamen Rider or whatever, you're sad it's ending, but you're excited for the future. 
And that's gonna, I'm gonna be happy and focus on the future. People were, are worried that the fact that the writer, who I'm sure is a lovely person, I've never met her, I've never spoke to her, I looked at her Twitter profile for a few moments, and then I YouTubed how in the world to pronounce her name. She has a rainbow thing by her name, though, and guys, that's apparently not good. Oh, no, 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 no. A woman writing this comic book? Ugh, well, now we're just gonna have all this social justice warrior trash come in, right? Ugh, it's just gonna be about females leading things. We've never, never had females take the lead in Power Rangers. Oh, God, next thing you know, they're gonna make them wear rainbow colored spandex. Oh, wait. Then, yeah, and then they're gonna let all the Rangers, even the nerdy ones, are gonna get cool weapons. And, and, and they're gonna have people from all, I mean, my ranger teams are all white boys, right? Right? I'm s I'm really saddened as to what the internet and what this world has become. Rangers, if you're mad, if you're disheartened by this. One, if you agree with those other things where Power Rangers should just be an all white boy team and and whatever then i don't even know why you're here because well, first off happy pride month everyone i've had this out and i i do it's an armband actually i was gonna wear it. i didn't go to a soccer game on saturday but i was i was gonna wear this because it was pride night at the game and i unfortunately didn't get to go it's a side tangent but if i don't say it enough i'm an ally i'm i don't care who you are or where you come from, I don't care what gender you were born, or what gender you have sex with, I, I don't care. We're Power Ranger fans. We're watching a show that's admittedly right now made for four-year-olds that wear rainbow-colored spandex and fight rubber-suited monsters. The biggest problem in your life is that a woman who may or may not be gay, I, I, I honestly don't know because I don't care, your biggest problem in your life is that she's taking over this comic and now you might not want to read it even though you didn't read it before. I kind of feel sorry for you. <laughs> How sad is your life? Really sad. Really sad. We're getting a new creative team. We're getting a brand new team of rangers. A group of rangers that have never been assembled before. Including a new ranger we've never seen before. That's... Two, two out of six of those rangers didn't exist a few months ago. And we can't even be excited for it because of the toxicity of some people. Or maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me having a bad day and just, I don't know. Sorry guys. I guess I can't just always be Ranger Liz hype. Admittedly, the first few times I tried to record, I just ended up getting angry and telling people to get their heads shoved out of their asses. And, no, uh, I didn't really feel like posting that. Felt good to get it out of my system, though. But, those are the facts, kids. That's what it is, and that's your news for Power Rangers. And, if you're not happy about it, if you're bummed that this is kind of how the video was, Start standing up and don't let people like this win. Don't let the homophobes win. Don't let people trying to stay narrow-minded, don't let them win. Power Rangers isn't going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Pride's not going anywhere. And, uh, yeah. I want my, com I want my community, which sounds really mm -hmm. full of myself to say, but I want people to be able to come to my show and just be happy. And I kind of, I'm sorry that maybe that wasn't what happened today, but that's what it is. Sorry guys. This is Ranger Liz. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks again guys. I'll see you in the next video.